Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video we are going to learn how to send telegram messages for Elementor form submissions. So here I have created a form using Elementor and in this case I want whenever a new form submission is made, automatically an alert message should be sent on my telegram group. So to automate this process we will use an automation software named as Pabli Connect in which we need to connect our trigger and our action. So in this process our trigger application will be Elementor and our action application will be telegram. So to learn this process step by step let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video we are going to learn how to send telegram messages for Elementor form submission. So in this case I want whenever a new form submission is made in my Elementor form automatically a message should be sent on my telegram group. So to automate this process we will use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. This is the home page of Pabli Connect. You can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. After signing in, you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you can see a create workflow button on the top right corner. Here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this button. Now here in this create workflow dialog box, we have to give a name to our workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as send telegram messages for Elementor form submissions. And now I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select your folder as per your need. Also, you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button. Now here in this workflow window, you can see we have successfully created a workflow with the name send telegram messages for element or form submissions. And here you can see two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards our trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up our trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as Elementor and my trigger event as new form submission. And here you can see we have received a webhook URL. That means we will use this webhook URL to connect our Elementor form with Pabli Connect. So as you all know that Elementor is a plugin of WordPress. So here I've created a contact form using Elementor. And now we are going to connect this form with Pabli Connect. So for that I'm going to click on this edit with Elementor. And now I'm going to select the form element. And after that I'm going to click on this actions after submit button. And now here I'm going to add the action which is webhook. So now after adding the action here you can see we have received the option for webhook. So we are going to click on this. And here it is asking for webhook URL. So for that let me take you back to Pabli window. And here I'm going to copy this webhook URL. Moving back to form. Here I'm going to enter the webhook URL. And now after adding the webhook URL here I'm going to click on this update. And now after successful update I'm going to click on this preview changes. So here we have successfully connected our form. So moving back to Pabli window. And here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response. That means here to receive a webhook response we need to do a test submission. And to do a test submission we need to submit a response in our form. So for that let me take you back to my element of form. So here I'm going to enter a dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first name I'm going to enter the name as dummy. Last name as user. Email as dummy at the rate pabletudes.com. And now I'm going to enter a random phone number. And now after entering all the details, I'm going to click on the submit. And here you can see it says your submission was successful. So now let's go back to our Pabli window. And here you can see we have successfully received a response where we have received the form ID, phone number, last name, first name and email. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger. Now let's move to action step. Here I'm going to select my action application as telegram bot. And now I'm going to select my action event as send a text message or reply. And now to connect my telegram bot with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your telegram bot account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, it is asking me to enter a token. So here following the instructions given below, here I've already logged in in my telegram account. And from here I'm going to search for the bot father. And I'm going to select bot father. 
and here in botfather we are going to create a new bot by simply entering this command so the command for creating a new bot is slash new bot and here you can see it says all right a new bot how are we going to call it please choose a name for your bot so here i'm going to choose a name that is elementor integration bot and here you can see it says good now let's choose a username for your bot it must end it must end in bot like this for example tetris bot or tetris bot so here we are going to select a username that is elementor form submission bot so here i've entered a username and here you can see we have received a message which says done congratulations on your new bot you will find it at the link you can now add a description about section and profile picture for your bot and here you can see we have received a token so what we are going to do is we are going to copy this token moving back to pavli window and here i'm going to enter the token so now after entering the token here i'm going to click on the save and here you can see we are now successfully connected so moving forward and now here it is asking for a chat id so here to enter a chat id let, let me take you back to my telegram so here in telegram firstly we need to activate our bot and for that what we are going to do is we are going to click on this link and here i'm going to click on the start and now we have successfully activated our bot so now after activating this bot what we are going to do is that we are going to create a new group by clicking on this button new group and here i'm going to select member name that is element or integration bot so here i'm going to select this and here i'm going to give a name to the group so the group name would be new submissions and now i'm going to create this group and here you can see we have successfully created a new group and now after creating this group successfully we are going to make the bot as an admin so now using telegram on my phone i'm going to make bot as an admin so i have made bot admin so to show you that i'm going to click on this group icon and here you can see i have successfully made the bot as admin so it is important to make the bot admin as only admins can send a message in this group uh, so after creating bot as admin we are going to extract the chat id and for that you have to click on this url and here you can see after hashtag we have received the chat id so here i'm going to copy this moving back to pavli window and here i'm going to enter the chat id so now after adding the chat id moving forward and now here it is asking for text message so here i need to enter the message which, which i want to send in my telegram group so this is the message which i want to send which says hello you have received a new lead the details are given below that are leads name leads phone number and leads email so here instead of entering the details manually here i will map the data mapping data means insert data from previous step that means here i will map the data from the response i have received in my elementor Mapping makes our text dynamic so that whenever a new form submission is made, automatically this previously existing details will be updated with the new one. So here I'm going to map the lead's name, first name, space, last name, and now I'm going to map the lead's phone number, and here I'm going to map the email. So here I'm done entering all the data and now moving forward. And now here it is asking for message thread ID and re reply to message ID. So here it is not a required field. So here I'm going to leave it blank. If you want to add any other detail, then you can do it as per your need. Moving forward. So here for the disable notification, I am going to select no. Moving forward. Same for the disable web page preview. No. Allow sending without reply. No. Moving forward. And here for the pass mode, which is a required field, I'm going to select HTML. Moving forward. Again, this button label and button URL is not a required field. So here I'm going to leave them blank. And now after entering all the details, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see we have received a successful response. So now let's go and check our Telegram group. And here you can see we have received a message from the bot which says, Hello, you have received a new lead. The details are given below. That are leads name as dummy user, leads phone number and leads email as dummy at the rate babitudes.com. So with this, we have successfully set up our automation. Now let's test our automation to check whether it is working or not. So to test our automation, we need to submit another response in our Elementor form. And for that, let me take you back to my Elementor form. Here I'm going to refresh this window. And now here I'm going to enter another dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first name, I'm going to enter the name as test, last name as lead, email as test at the rate pabritudes.com, random phone number. And now I'm going to click on the submit. And here you can see it says your submission was successful. So now let's go and check our telegram group. And here you can see we have successfully received another bot message which says, hello, you have received a new lead. The details are given below. Leads name as test lead, leads phone number and leads email as test at the rate 
So with this, we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken a trigger as Elementor and our action as Telegram bot. So that whenever a new form submission is made in our Elementor, automatically alert message should be sent on our Telegram group. If you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can contact us on support at zaritpabli.com. If you have any query, you can contact us on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.